start in NA because we were just talking about it and there is some definite movement around the entire board. We got a new person in first place and uh, something we didn't even talk about is the Golden Guardians got a win. Way to go Golden Guardians. Welcome to the NA LCS picking up your win. You're a real franchise now. They're still 10th but uh, you got to win so you got a one on there. So You can't put the cart in front wins. of the horse. You got to pick up that one win. Start building it up, baby. Congratulations. They're just going to rock the Alawi top lane all the way to finals. That was pretty nasty. Lolo looked good on that. Congrats to High and the boys on their first win. But you're still 10th. Uh, former team of High, Cloud9 coming in that top spot after a dominant win over Liquid. They actually struggled more with FlyQuest, but FlyQuest looked pretty good. But uh, Cloud9 moves up two spots into that top spot. Echo Fox stays put at second. Yeah, and I think that you you can't argue with these two spots. These definitely have to be the two teams that you're putting up at top. And I think when you talk about them, Cloud9, for me, has to be the one that you're just, just edging out from the, what we've seen of them. Their actual production has been arguably the most dominant and clean games as a whole. For, even though Echo Fox beat Cloud9. Right, even though Echo Fox, is, and, and Echo Fox and you know teams like Team Liquid have smashed and have some of the shortest game times, I think as a whole, Cloud9 has been more impressive in the way that they've handled their victories and things like that. And you know, even through the criticism that people have given to them, such as even their own coach saying that they play a little bit dumb sometimes. Well, guess what? That dumb play is working because they're talented enough to pull off these huge team fights. That's what I really want to get to. This Cloud9 team somehow is absolutely on top of all these team fights and they're the ones coming out on top. It's definitely an impressive way to start and hey, right up at the top of our power rankings. Uh, Liquid, even though they had an 0-2 week based on previous weeks, how solid they've looked, slot them in at number three with a five and three record. Uh, TSM continues their slow, steady climb. Uh, they should have beat Clutch if you could outsmite an Ezreal Q. <laughs> yeah, but, if it, was, uh, if it yeah. wasn't for Apollo and it wasn't for some questionable thinking from Mike Young, as we said, it happens, it happens. You, you know, blow it off, get to the next match. Get ready to smite it and, and not lose out there. But those are some uh, rough, rough matches. Rough match there for TSM against Clutch Gaming to give away after that level one the advantages you had. But TSM has shown their improvements and they are continuing to make strides and in ironing out their communication issues and definitely a team that is getting stronger and you have to start thinking that they're going to be making this push towards the playoffs where anything can happen. Clutch Gaming has shown, I think, in this past week that it isn't all just the Febivin show. Yes, it has to be Febivin performing and being the main guy for them as we've seen, but other people can step up and surely it was not Lyra on the Skarner stepping up, it was Apollo on the Ezreal stepping up. Really great performance this week from him, and I think that Clutch Gaming can improve as a whole, improve themselves as a playoff team as we approach this halfway point in the season. And then as you last look into kind of this mid-range pack, I think FlyQuest for me has to be that team that might secure that last playoff spot. I think especially with Fly in the mid lane, and if they can rock Anda in the jungle, I think that is no their best. No more shrimp, I, Yeah, shrimp, sorry, you're out of here, buddy. No more shrimp cocktail, Gonzo. FlyQuest definitely with that roster of Fly and Anda, I think is the optimal one to go with, and I think that they will have enough strength to get into the playoffs. Uh, CLG, yeah, we probably got a little too, got on a stop too early on that hype train after their 2-0 week. I mean, they beat Echo Fox. They looked pretty solid uh, in that game, 2 0 that week. And then this week, it's it's CLG, it's counter logic. They get crushed by two teams. Uh, I, I mean, TSM, that's, that's a fair loss, but they were, Destroyed? Not destroyed. They lost to Optic. They, yeah, they were they were quite. I mean, in that loss to Optic, it was a pretty clear win for Optic Gaming. And then even again, that matchup against TSM was one sided. Was, was certainly not in doubt from the team solo mid side. So questions coming for Counter Logic Gaming, who we had thought were on the up. And again, this is a team that coming into this year had a, people had a lot of expectations for. You know, possibly making it into finals, so things like that. And because a lot of people thought that they would figure out their shot calling and the team play, the mechanical skill upgrades that they had made would be there. It hasn't worked out so far for Counter Logic Gaming. I think they will need more time, possibly even this entire split to iron things out and figure it out. Maybe look for them to have a better summer, but so far they're finding themselves into the bottom tier of our power rankings. Uh, number eight, this is where people will lose their minds because it's 100 Thieves. Yes, they have a four and four record, that is in yeah. fact worse than a three and five record of FlyQuest. 
and CLG. But when you lose to the Golden Guardians and give them their first win of the split, you know you're gonna get knocked down a peg on the standings. They also dropped a team to fly a game to FlyQuest, who was below them in the standings. And even going back to last week, the only win they got was against Clutch in a 50 plus minute game that they should have lost. Right. But Clutch through that game. I think it's the first two weeks, Hunter Thieves looked great, but since week three, they have not looked good at all. Right, and I think that's where we talked about, you know what, that teams might actually find some success in the very early parts of the split is just purely based off of preparation. And I think that's what we saw with 100 Thieves. They prepared very well and they knew exactly how they wanted to play out the entire match. And when things worked out like that, great, they picked up wins. But so far right now, we are starting to see this regression and we're starting to see other teams in the NALCS, you know, pick up on what they've seen in the VODs that they're able to review of, of 100 Thieves. And I mean, Hey, other than those fire jerseys, not looking so great for the 100 Thieves, not some good performances in the last two weeks. Uh, you're gonna have to really start questioning them because you know, you're looking in that bot lane and I remember hearing an interview of Cody's son saying, hey, playing with Aphromu is great. It's like playing with a get out of jail free card. Only problem is Cody is needing to cash in that get out of jail free card almost every minute. So it's just not good enough, not a good enough performance from him in the bot lane, especially now where you need that carry to perform. There's only two get out of jail free cards in the decks in Monopoly, man. There's a community chest one and a chance one. You can only use two again. Yeah, and even with the Afro Moose special giving you that third one, not enough for a Cody son given the way he's playing and frontlining as a Kogma. Oh my God. Yuck. Uh, we wanted to move you up a spot, Golden Guardians. You got the big <laughs> win. You got the big W. But you're gonna need to do a few more. Soon enough. I think they're ending hey. with two on the split. You're slowly turning us into believers. It's looking good. This is this is the start of it, right? You know, Steph Curry had to start somewhere for for Golden State. So this is where you're just building up one win at a time. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more esports content.